Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 13 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. Um, we're not down in the underwater base because there's not nearly enough room for what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to talk about the high pressure turbine. Yes, we talked about all the different reactors now, well except for the fusion reactor, but that's for later. Um, we've talked about the main three reactors. So now let's talk about the high pressure turbine, which is a way for you to get uh, more power out of uh, a reactor, um, but it does take a large investment in resources. So the high pressure turbine is a more efficient turbine. Uh, it produces more power for the steam, but it does require a lot more steam. It's also a multi-block, and you're going to need these four blocks in order to build it. Well, we're going to go from left to right. You're going to need some steam injectors. You're going to need eight of these steam injectors. They are created with five liquid pipes and four base panels. All you're going to need is eight. Uh, each one of these requires 18 steel, 18 steel ingots to make one, uh, one of those. So you're going to need eight of them. Next, you're going to need turbine housing. You're going to need a lot more of these. I don't have an exact number, but each one is made with three propeller blades, three steel ingots, and three base panels. And each one of these requires 15 steel ingots to make. Next, you're going to need turbine blades, also, a lot of them. And these are crafted simply with nine propeller blades. Each one of these turbine blade blocks does require 27 steel. And you're going to need a number of high pressure turbine blocks. Uh, these are crafted with a normal turbine, uh, with, surrounded by eight more propeller blades. So just keep in mind this is the placeable turbine, not the. Um, crafting component turbine, the actual turbine, and that gets you a high pressure turbine. But the high pressure turbine is a multi-block, um, so we have to build it. And I'm going to show you step by step how to build it. So over here, we've got a bunch of uh, steam boilers just so I can uh, show you later uh, the thing working. Um, but what you're going to do, and you're going to need a lot of room for this, uh, the high pressure turbine can be built up to uh, five uh, stages, I mean seven stages, excuse me. Uh, which, uh, not including the uh, initial stage, which is, makes it basically eight blocks long. Um, it's also, I think, ten blocks uh, uh, tall or something like that. So make sure you have a lot of room around you in order to, around the area, in order to build this thing, okay? So you're going to start off by placing a steam, by placing your steam line where you want it, and then surrounding your steam line with steam injector blocks. Eight of them, like this. Okay, now once you've done that, we move to building the, uh, that's the first level, the first layer basically. But in order for this to actually be usable, we have to go on behind it. So on behind the steam line, go ahead and place your first high pressure turbine block. You'll notice it has the red uh, energy out bit, just make sure it's coming in this uh, direction. Uh, and then we're going to take some turbine housing, and we're going to surround this with eight turbine housing, and then put three more on each side. There we go. This is the smallest high pressure turbine that you can build. Alright? Now, I wouldn't recommend it at this level, but you could do it if you wanted to. That's basically the first stage uh, turbine. Remember, the first layer is just the steam inlet. This is the uh, first actual uh, stage of the, react of the turbine. Um, Worth noting that just like the regular turbines, this thing does require lubricant. We can talk about this right now, it doesn't matter. It does require lubricant, and the way you put lubricant into it is you see right here, uh, this part here, this is where the steam injectors are. You place a lubricant hose against the steam injectors, and even though you can't see it, it does connect, and you can put a lubricant uh, into there, and it will go into the turbine, okay? So it might look a little funny, but this is how you need to do it for that, okay? All right. Oh, it actually ran a little bit. Okay. So, all right, it's gotta stop doing that. Oops. And if you break a, a block, it will go back to its uh, multi-block uh, setup. Let's just break that bit there. I don't wanna see these little water droplets, it's a little annoying. All right, so our next stage, starts with another high pressure turbine block and then we're taking some turbine blades and we're putting it around here four of them right around the turbine block 
Then take your turbine housing and fill it in till you have a five by five square. So like this. Do like this. Okay, this is the next layer. Now, if it doesn't uh, generate the actual turbine, try breaking a turbine blade and replacing it. That, that seems to work. All right, so there's stage two of the high pressure turbine, the second active stage, but technically the third layer. Okay, now we go on to the next layer with another high pressure turbine, and then we completely surround it with turbine blades. So eight turbine blades. And we take our turbine housing, and we're gonna go out like this. See how that goes right there? Oops. Just like that. There we go. So what that is, is, it's, is if I break one of these so you can see it again. It's two layers of uh, turbine housing right on the sides, and then one uh, in the corners. And that gets our next level. Now if we move on to the next level, again, high pressure turbine in the middle, and turbine blades. We're going to surround this with turbine blades, and then we're going to add more, three more turbine blades blocks on each side. Just like that. Okay, and then we're just going to surround this with a continuous line of turbine housing. Oops. There we go. That's our next layer. Moving forward again, we come to another layer, and this is high pressure turbine. And we take our turbine blades. And we go like that, and like that, on each side. So we're ending up with this shape, made out of turbine blades. Alright, and then we're taking our turbine housing, and once again we're going to go two up from each of the sides, two out. And to connect this together, we're using a four block square. So like that. All right, show you again. Two layers out from the side, and then a two by two square to connect. And again, if it doesn't form the multi-block, break a turbine blade and replace it. That, that seems to work. All right, now onto another layer. There's a lot of layers with this thing. You don't have to build it out, out all the way, but if you're gonna put in that investment, you may as well. So, high pressure turbine and turbine blades. One, two, three blocks out from each direction. Oops, like that. And then we're going to fill in like this. So another layer there. And one. Okay? So like that. That's what we want. Basically just connect them with a diagonal like this. So. so that's what we want. Three out from uh, each side and then we just uh, connect it in. Fill it in like that. Just connect them together and fill it in. Okay? Now take our turbine housing, and once again we're going to make a continuous border around the blaze. And again, break a turbine blade, place it back, and there you go. But we're not done yet, there's one more layer. Yeah, this thing is pretty darn huge high pressure turbine, turbine blades, one, two, three, four out from each side, one, two, three, four, and then we're filling it in like this, 
Okay? So, we just want the one in the middle to be four. The other ones are three. Those connect together like that, and then we fill in. Simple. Fill it in. Two, two, fill it in. One, two, one, two, and fill it in. And that's what we want to end up with for the turbine blades. Now we take our turbine housing, place it here, 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 here. Okay, so we're going to like that. And then we bring it over, there, and there. And then we do the same thing oops, we just did. So we end up with that. Alright? Three, two, two, one, two, 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 two. And then break a turbine blade and put some back. And there we go. High pressure turbine, fully formed. Alright? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven active layers, followed with and our steam injector layer. So you can see this thing is pretty darn big. Now this has a quite a few uh, advantages over the uh, standard turbine. For one, it produces a ton more power. Um, secondly, this turbine housing prevents it from taking damage. So uh, with the normal turbine, if it gets hit, if a mob touches it while it's running, it will break the blades. Not so with the high pressure turbine. This turbine housing uh, protects it from damage. All right. I, I'm trying to walk through this. I can't actually walk through this. With the other turbine, I actually would be able to just walk right straight into the blaze. But this thing, no, it doesn't. It's not letting me. Okay. This thing produces a crap ton of power. The uh, a couple of disadvantages is that it takes a, ta a crap ton of steam. Um, this is why I currently have all these boilers sitting here. All right. So this is our uh, our turbine. Now, in order to build this thing that I just built all the way with all the layers. It will require 7,822 steel and 28 tungsten. So that's quite an investment in steel for this high-pressure turbine. But if you need the power, this thing will supply it. So let us connect up our steam line, and then we'll hit, I'll hit it into debug mode, which will cause these. Uh, let me put this. Um, we'll put this back. Pull out our magic wand so that we can have a infinite reservoir. Uh, you're going to need a lot of lubricant as well um, for this thing because I believe it stores lubricant in it per block. Okay, so if I right click on this it says that its lubricant level is going up per block uh, up to 64,000 millibuckets per block and I think that means, I don't know if that means per um, high pressure turbine block in which case there's only uh, eight of, uh, seven of them or Per, probably per turbine block, which means there's seven of them. I wouldn't imagine it's storing up that much lubricant like per every single block in here. But either way, you're going to need a lot of lubricant for this. Now if I set this, and this is just a bunch of steam boilers. Um, as far as what it would take to run this, I know that a 16 core fission reactor um, with enough uh, boilers uh, can run it. Um, just make sure it doesn't explode. I've seen people run it with a 16 core fission reactor. I don't actually know what the smallest thing is that can run this thing. All I know is it takes a lot of steam. So if I go ahead and type a debug test to put this into debug mode, these steam boilers will start uh, producing steam and our turbine should start running. There we go. And this, uh, this, the, the, the thing is ramping up. It does take quite a while to spool up. You'll notice that the blades in the very back are moving incredibly slowly. Um, it takes quite a while for this thing to spool up, but it is spooling up. Um, we're up to a gigawatt, okay? So this thing is no slouch. It does produce a lot of power. Now, uh, if you're wondering why I have these reservoirs back here, this is actually how you get the water out of it. So with the regular turbine, the, the you get steam out the back, but with this thing you get uh, low pressure water just dripping off the back of the turbine. So the way to collect that is one block behind the turbine. So you got to be one block be back. Don't put it directly underneath 
the last bit of turbines, one block behind it. You you run a row of reservoirs across it, and uh, the reservoirs just fill up. So if these reservoirs weren't full, you'd be able to see that. So let me grab uh, some empty reservoirs. Place it there. Now the level drops, and you can see the level is going up because these reservoirs are collecting the low pressure water uh, as it falls in. So you just need to uh, pump the low pressure water into some into pressurizers if you wanted to reclaim it. No need to use condensers. Another great thing about these turbines is you never have to worry about steam blocks uh, getting out and, and mucking things up. So um, as we all know, letting steam blocks run around willy-nilly is bad for you, but because it's the high pressure turbine runs straight off of the actual steam line. There's no need for a steam vent, and there's no need for worrying about steam blocks going all over the place. All right, so that's another uh, bonus of the high pressure turbine. So if we use our angular transducer on this, we can see we're currently at max power, eight and a half gigawatts, uh, at 131,072 radians uh, per second. That's pretty. Uh, if that's pretty great. That's pretty. That's a lot of power out of this one turbine. Um, I'm pretty sure one high pressure turbine is the power equivalent of like 10 uh, or so uh, uh, regular turbines, it's something like that. So uh, high pressure turbines quite quite nice. Uh, just a large investment of resources and uh, they can be a bit tricky to build. Just remember that if the multi-block isn't forming, uh, just break a turbine blade and put it back and it usually works. I will link in the description to a uh, chart a handy chart that I found online that I used to build it. It lays out the uh, every single layer, um, or you can simply you know pause the video at various times and, and follow along with me building it. But if you want a picture of it uh, of each layer, I will uh, link you to that in the description. So this is the high pressure turbine. Um, obviously, the high pressure turbine uh, great if you are at the point where you really need a, a lot of power. Uh, you're starting to get some big reactors up and uh, you don't want to have to build a bunch of uh, smaller turbines. Um, because if, if what I uh, remember Rake is saying is true, uh, the high pressure turbine, I think he said actually costs less than like the 10, uh, the 10 regular full size turbines that it would replace. I don't remember if that's what he said or if it was something else, but uh, you know, if you, if you want to, if you've got the means to run one of these things, um, choosing the high pressure turbine is a more efficient and better idea than choosing an equivalent uh, number of uh, smaller turbines. All right, it's just a, it's a better idea. It's more efficient. So that's the high pressure turbine. Now there is more to talk about with the high pressure turbine, specifically the uh, redstone flux generator you can slap right on the back of it, as well as a, a turbine dynamometer. But we're going to talk about that in another video. This thing's gone on long enough. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode about the high pressure turbine. Uh, remember, it does take a lot of steam. I've got a bunch of steam boilers here running at full tilt uh, in order to um, power this. So make sure you got enough um, enough power, enough steam. I don't actually have a specific amount of how much steam it needs per second. I wasn't able to find that information, but it does take a lot. So don't be surprised if you build one of these and your reactor isn't powerful enough to uh, to get it going. You're just going to need a bigger reactor. But anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, next Thursday, uh, we will talk about the um, generator multi-block that will go on the back of this thing. Because um, uh, Tuesdays are going to be dedicated to Rotary Craft until we finish it. So we're very close to finishing Rotary Craft um, tutorial series. All right, so hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.